I'm Mark Yan, and I'm a co-founder of Sandstone, and we're building this. And this is a wearable for instant note-taking. So uh, we started Sandstone because we were forgetting things. We have a lot of ideas, and we can't keep all of them in our heads, and we don't always have the chance to write them down, because the phone may not be around, or hands are busy, or we get distracted, so they just disappear, and we hated that. Uh, we learned we're not alone in this, and there's much more people like us, and there's a bigger trend behind this called information overload, uh, which leads to shorter attention spans. Um, so our solution to that is a wearable device, which is always on you, and uh, it takes half a second to start recording. It's very important uh, just by pressing the button, and we listen to your voice. Uh, uh, after that, we tr convert that voice notes into text notes in your app. Uh, we organize them a bit, and more importantly, we make this look like a jewelry, uh, look nice so that you want to wear it every day. Uh, based on our research, this is most useful for people who work with text, uh, people who work with ideas, creative individuals, and uh, uh, busy people. Mm, we are targeting mostly uh, uh, urban citizens from 21 to 35, uh, with average salary of 65,000 uh, yearly income or, or more. So we're at the intersection of few markets as we're both a notepad uh, and a jewelry and a wearable device and we actually plan to make money on each of those markets. So uh, first is direct device sales, which we plan to retail for $120. Mm. Uh, second is uh, we will offer the premium, um, uh, the monthly subscription for premium app features such as unlimited storage, audio storage, or unlimited uh, transactions. And we will also sell accessories for the device. Uh, how we'll get our customers is quite straightforward. Uh, we're going to Kickstarter uh, next month, uh, for which we're building community. We will use uh, paid uh, ads in f Facebook and Instagram, where most of our audience is. Uh, we are in touch with media and influencers, uh, and we, we, who we plan to turn into advocates. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we're trying to get celebrity endorsements, and uh, we'll be sponsor content. Uh, so as the competition, the question we got a lot is, uh, why we do, would we do that while well, we have uh, Apple uh, iPhone or Apple Watch with Siri? And as a user of uh, smartwatches for quite a while, I wish uh, they, could, they would do that uh, also, but uh, they're not uh, there. They're, they're not that good. And the best comparison I can give is that um, Apple Watch does count steps, but still a lot of people buy Fitbit devices. Mm. Sorry? No. Yeah. It's not. Sorry. Uh, well, our uh, competitive uh, proposition is a unique combination of uh, design and function. So we're positioning ourselves at the intersection of fashion and functionality. Um, so we're in good position as we're patent pending. Uh, on the on the protocol and hardware combination, we develop a unique uh, protocol for audio transmission, which is not easy to replicate. And um, as, as I said again, we offer a unique combination of style uh, and functionality. Mm. So currently, we have a prototype which is working, working well. We're testing, getting a feedback. Uh, we're going to validate it through the Kickstarter next month. Uh, we plan for a few batches of mass production next year to look for to search our product market fit. Uh, and after that, when we, when we find it, we, we are planning to do white labeling for fashion brands, start B2B business model, mm, uh, extend the app to virtual assistant, and add new hardware features. So the team, uh, Nas, early co-founder, my partner, uh, has got a big managerial experience. He comes from the uh, legal industry. Uh, me, myself, uh, I, I come from a uh, technology background, uh, both as engineer, then product, marketing, and sales. And I worked a lot with uh, wearable technology. Uh, Inna in San Francisco works uh, with PR, uh, helps uh, to engage local media. And Alex is the one who built the device. And we also have a lot of partners and subcontractors for software design, et cetera. Uh, so actually, we're not looking for investment right now, we, uh, but we want to start a conversation. And the aim of this presentation is to get publicity before Kickstarter, get feedback, and uh, get uh, any bonus to help us achieve our goals and start the uh, investor relationship. Thank you. Right in time. Thanks very much.
three minutes for Q&A, please. Uh, Max? Yeah, what's the price of your device? Uh, it's $120, and on Kickstarter we plan for $100. So I have to admit, I'm very skeptical given all the competition, but if your team is the most amazing team in the world, they'll succeed. Have they done anything like this before? No. Created? Okay. The Alex, the hardware designer, did, uh, but no, in terms of uh, other, no. Okay. I didn't, I didn't get which part of your project was more important, the uh, speech-to-text technology or uh, the shape of the device itself? Okay, that's a good question. That's what we're figuring out right now. I think that's something in the middle, like a new market, uh, people who, uh, for whom the combination is important, like how it looks and what it does. So the um, as I said, it's, uh, uh, the design and the functionality is patent pending. Um, we believe it is, it, it is not easy to, to get to that, that design and that fun uh, functionality. Uh, we have one competitor who does some similar functionality, but we have very d different approaches for on design. Greg? Uh, so from user's perspective, why the customer would choose your device instead of just taking something from Apple or Google, which is already working perfectly with all their apps? Um, yes, well, um, first, uh, we're tailoring this for people who need uh, much uh, shorter, t uh, who need a shorter um, interval just to record something. There are a lot of people who get an idea and want to write it down, but get distracted, or it's not there, and they forget it. As I said, there are shorter attention spans. Second, it's a jewelry. It looks nice, and it, you don't only wear it on the wrist or somewhere. You, you also wear it as, a, as an accessory. And third, we're actually uh, planning to integrate with uh, other platforms for those people who want that. But I would say in terms of functionality, it's about the, um, the, the speed of recording, how fast you get that. Okay, last question. Ruslan? A qu question and feedback. You mentioned that there are two sides of the business, the design and the technologies which you will patent. And uh, if I w was to invest, I would invest if, if you have if if you actually patent this technology and uh, it's very um, advanced compared to others. So um, I if you could make it not open source but licensed to other designers, because like you have just one design and mm -hmm. people will want different things. But if a designer will want their uh, jewelry to have this uh, application, so they can just uh, license it, and you you would get ten dollars from each design that, that is sold. Okay, thank you, thank you.